the Apple Vision Pro is the world's biggest scam. Here's why. Now, respectfully in chat, um, is anybody here buying the Apple Vision Pro? <laughs> I can't even finish that sentence seriously. Is anybody here buying the Apple Vision Pro? $3,500. No, no, hell no. I will die before I buy that. <laughs> Rather buy a Hellcat than that. Yeah, uh, I'm really just interested in this because I'm really wondering, like, even Apple fanboys, there's no way Apple fanboys are actually sitting there and spending this much. Not in this economy. People's, people's is too broke for this. But let's see the video. This year, Apple is releasing perhaps its most significant product ever in history for 3,500. Significant? Uh, I think that's the wrong word for it. Dollars, you will now be able to own a Vision Pro headset. This mixed reality device marks Apple's first significant new product since the introduction of the Apple. It does have cool features, but not cool to like, not giving up job or anything like that. So it's not cool enough, I guess almost a decade ago but apple is trying to distinguish Here's it from money. being known as augmented reality or virtual reality and rather labeling the pro a spatial computing device but perhaps they should call it a new form of dystopian reality because this product is one of the most heinous and terrifying pieces of technology that the world will become addicted to and no one Ain't seems to be it. talking about it now for those who don't know the vision pro is a device designed to be worn on your face and what sets it apart from previous you know the worst part let me rewind it for those who don't know it. the vision pro is a device designed to be worn on your y'all know the worst part there's a wire with it you're paying three thousand five hundred dollars and you got to use a wire <laughs> now granted it has like some charts like it's the same thing with, with the meta quest right the one i have the vr headset i have you could use it without a wire for like two and a half hours and then eventually it dies this has even less battery life i think we checked it last time it has like two hours less than the meta quest 2 that's like 300 dollars, by the way so you can't even have mobility you can have mobility it's it, but it's only two hours like if this is meant to be a day-to-day -day thing where they want people to be walking outside with it people aren't going to be walking outside with that it's like your face and what sets it apart from day. previous creations is day. that the conventional methods of controlling the computer such as a keyboard it's mouse or touchscreen are kids. replaced by a user interface that primarily well, can you imagine that the next generation is like kids that grow up only in augmented reality oh man that's a dystopian future it really relies on eye tracking and gestures it will track every part of you every little eye movement every emotion that you feel and when you interact Does with the really world through this spatial computing device you will start to live I mean, in look a cool completely through, new it world it looks cool through this lens but it nah. even monitors your hand gestures to understand your intentions and preferences. In short, this device is the best machine to study Future's people. Fucked. It records you and your choices. It knows how your body language works and feeds this data right back to the gurus at Apple, where this information is then assessed and utilized to make you more addicted to their products. And whilst there have been previous attempts at achieving similar- Dude, I was just about to mention, who here remembers the Google glasses? Like, how did that even work? I've never seen footage of this shit. I just remember everybody making like fun of it and then it eventually failed and then they stopped selling it or something. This was like the original, the original dystopian future when they released this. goes with devices like the Google Glasses or Meta's Quest Pro, none of them are mainstream at the moment, and none of this has been an entirely unified experience. In other words, Apple's new product is truly unique, and because it's Apple, it will be terrifying. We're about to cross the Rubicon, and when we do, there's no turning back. And to understand why, we need to revisit a dystopian novel from the early 90s. In many ways, Snow Crash, written by the sci-fi author Neil Stephenson, predicted a world in which the Vision Pro would reign supreme. In it, right. the characters retreat from the physical world by grabbing a pair of goggles, strapping them to their faces and escaping into virtual realms. Like, the narrative just see that wire. That is so bad. takes readers on an expansive nightmarish adventure across a fragmented and divided United States, where the protagonist, aptly named Hero Protagonist, enters a world that up until that point never really existed. In this futuristic, oppressive setting, the government has lost control of society, instead relinquishing law enforcement duties and other responsibilities to private enterprises. And as society becomes increasingly engrossed in virtual realities, influential capitalists seek to dominate not only the media, but also the thoughts and perceptions of their audience solidifying their status as modern day robber barons and right now we're seeing this companies like apple more power kind of look human in those photos for the nation states in is developing photo. its own universe that we will be living in just look at all of apple's technology and how integrated it has become into our everyday life iphones are everywhere airpods are everywhere no i legit you know what i think y'all because i was really how many people have droids in here it's not wrong with having a droid me me sadly <laughs> no that's really how i was feeling bro my droid i'm not gonna lie 
Apple had to have started some propaganda. Like, I'm not surprised this whole, like he's saying, the takeover is going to happen with all these technology companies and they're they're going to be more powerful than governments. Because, bro, like, literally the notion is if you have a droid, droids are top three most made fun of things on the internet. Or they used to be, at least. Like, a nigga will pod a droid, drop their phone, and after that you hear the, hold up, where's the sound effect? And then you got to, like, scramble everywhere to pick up the phone, man. It's just like, it's not, it wasn't fun to use a droid. It wasn't fun to use a droid back then. But nowadays, droids have all like you, the, the batteries inside of it, right? You don't have to worry about that. But when I had a droid in this era, that was the worst era to ever have a droid in. And now with the Vision Pro, we will be taking one Didn't step. Samsung copy Apple though, dude. Apple copies like everything Android does, like a year or two years after they do it. Forward, as the Vision Pro will likely be the first device that will usher in this. Broke. Oh yeah, no, you're different. Society's migration into the metaverse. Contrary to popular belief, it's not just Zuckerberg's meta working on the metaverse. Other huge mm. mega companies are also actively working on this 3D virtual world. It has the potential to be one of the most profitable moves any company could make. Okay. And once one of these mega companies do achieve this, I there mean... will be. The thing is when people say like these virtual wor worlds, like y'all remember NFTs? They were saying like, oh my God, man, like NFTs. <laughs> Trust and believe, man. Trust and believe. You buy an NFT, you buy a virtual item right here, that's just going to skyrocket, bro. Ain't nobody, everybody that bought an NFT, oh my God, their money is gone, caboose. When people say like the whole, oh, the metaverse and people are going to be spending money for virtual things only, like they're going to be more pricey than physical things. I don't think that's true. Be trillions at play. So why are they creating this headset in the first place? Well, a better question to ask is why not create it? Well, the AR VR market is growing at a frightening pace. By the end of the decade, it's expected to be worth an eye-watering $248.16 billion. With the Vision Pro, really? Apple, one of the most powerful tech companies that, in the man. world, the Vision Pro is vital to eyes. Apple's success. Apple's entire empire is built off innovation. If they don't innovate and get to the top of this market, they could very quickly lose out, just as Xerox did back in the 70s. And Apple Apple is in a prime position to call all the shots here, to rule over a new digital empire. Sure, other products like the Vision Pro exist, MetaQuest Pro 2 and 3, Sony PlayStation's VR 2 and Microsoft's HoloLens, but they always- I've never heard of the HoloLens. Focus primarily on gaming and entertainment, and they're nothing that groundbreaking, but the Vision Pro is an entirely different beast. It focuses on real life situations, taking real world scenarios and distorting them in never before seen ways. Apple is okay. even considering using their newest product to help treat mental illnesses, and rather Sony ironically- better. That seems very odd. Treating mental illnesses. Wait, what happens? You put on the the, the headset and immediately like just it's a switch and your depression's cured. I don't know how that's about to work, but that that would be very interesting. I need to see insights on that. It could actually create a host of mental illnesses instead, but I'll get to this later. For the past 15 years, Silicon Valley CEOs have told us their product is going to change the world as we know it. But how much longer can they keep up the hype? Because honestly, we're the only ones who suffer if they fail. Corporations either get bought out or bailed out, no, no matter how unhinged their CEOs are. Investors just get stuck with the bill. But companies like Masterworks let us make up some uh, ground for I did not know that was bad. Sense. But my five senses can still get priority access using the link in the description. With 12 cameras, 5 sensors, and 6 microphones, Apple claims that the Vision Pro can update images at a speed 8 times faster than the blink of an eye. After okay, how? When they say shit like this, how? How? 8 times faster than the blink of an eye? Placing the device on one's head, users how? will be able to view all their applications showcased on the screen. These apps can be accessed okay. through various methods such as advanced eye tracking, voice Down. commands, and simple finger gestures like tapping, double tapping, pinching, and holding zooming in and out and rotating. Furthermore, when another person comes into your field of view, you're provided with a notification that someone is approaching you. The augmented reality experience is amplified by both Dude, what, what if, I'm really digging, what if you're out in public with like one of these? Some nigga just comes up to you, like glasses you. There's $3,500 down the drain. If you get this, you have to get insurance or like the, what is that Apple care shit? Apple coverage? You have to get it. The thing is, if you get like an iPhone or anything else, you don't really need to get Apple coverage. It's low key a scam. I'm gonna be honest. It, it, it's not low key a scam. It is very much a scam. Exterior and interior cameras. Point, For the virtual reality aspect, the cameras are disabled, isolating the user from their surroundings and allowing them to solely perceive what is displayed on the screen. Apple Vision Pro users have the ability to mm. scan their facial features and create highly realistic digital avatars of themselves when utilizing different video chat just be platforms creepy. such as FaceTime, Zoom, Google Meet, and Discord. Nah, These man, that just looks... digital personas 
That just looks and creepy. Our representations in this that just looks unreal. Brave new world. One user who tested the Vision Pro himself described how his body reacted to situations and his mind responded to the cacophony of sights, sounds, and sensory simulation. In one demo, he said he got to pet a freaking dinosaur. Not a beast that looks like a 3D model set against an illustrated background, but a realistic looking dinosaur that sniffed my hand and let me pet it. It's pretty clear that we have never seen anything like this before. What up? No, I'm really thinking in the future, like, they're gonna have, I think it's true, we're gonna have sex robots, and there's gonna be full-on VR corn, like, you're gonna be able to feel everything, and at that point, that's when society stops reproducing. About 99% of Gen Z anyways is, like, just virginless losers. Stop. We simply can't compute the impact that the vision- I'm not saying you're a loser if you're a virgin, but, like, y'all get the point. ...have on society, and that's why Apple is making- Long as took a whole another level concerted effort to distinguish the headset from other available devices, advising developers to label the Pro a spatial computing device and not an entertainment device. And one key part of how we interact with this device will be through the adoption of avatars. But with the Vision Pro, it will be different. You see, typically avatars come in varieties, but you can take the form of anything, as we see with things like the Metaverse. And at first, so it seems stupid. harmless. When you see the old version of Metaverse's graphics, these avatars look like a joke. But the speed at which they are now evolving in complexity should worry us all. This was highlighted mm. during the Lex Freeman podcast with Zuckerberg, where Zuckerberg's avatar started to become photorealistic. Oh my god, ew! <laughs> this is so great. With avatars now becoming more lifelike. Dude, no! Look, see, he looks even creepier. Oh my god. Intricate facial expression supported by a wide range of available- It looks realistic, but it doesn't look realistic. Like, like since we're human, since we're humans, right, we can With tell- avatars now We can tell that it's fake. It's like he- he brought like a HD hyper realistic version of himself in a dream and then made it real and then showed it to people. But you can tell it just looks off. Now becoming more lifelike with intricate facial to expression supported by a wide range of available emotes and actions. And with the Vision Pro, it's on a whole other level. But this could be problematic, yeah. as research is showing that the way individuals present themselves in virtual worlds can have an impact on their behavior towards others in the real world. In fact, just five yeah. minutes of exposure to virtual environments as either a hero or villain can lead people to either reward or punish anonymous strangers. In one study, when tasked with giving food to other participants, it was observed that participants who assumed the role of Voldemort poured almost twice the amount of spicy chili sauce than those who hadn't assume the role of Voldemort. They assume the role of evil. And what type this of study is this, man? You gotta pull up a better study. Virtual <laughs> representation translated into real world actions. What happens when people spend hours, maybe even days or weeks, immersed in these virtual worlds? And it is important to remember here that the Vision Pro specializes in the creation- that's the thing also, when he's talking about like spending all this time in like uh the metaverse and VRverse or whatever, I've, I don't know how many of y'all have VR headsets, but dude, after I play for like two hours and some change, I haven't touched my shit in a minute. My eyes are done for i refuse to believe people are going to be able to sit there and like do this for all day all day just sitting on because you're just you're straight up with your eyes straining your eyes for like eight hours if you're doing that like it's 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 very annoying it's hard to get used to at first when you do it i think your eyes legit hurt because you're not used to digital personas far more realistic than flimsy up. looking okay, avatars see, with the cartoonish features crazy. if avatars are mildly problematic digital personas that is incredibly accurate representations of the user could prove to be mm. catastrophic leaving users specifically users as brains unable to differentiate between a human and a digitalized version of one but perhaps even a bigger nah, concern here on, is that man. as technology evolves, avatar representations will evolve so quickly that experts now worry where the significant amount of sensitive information regarding users' facial features will go. And how much will be necessary? How much biometric mm. data, eye scans, voice recordings, and even fingerprints will be needed? And who will use this information? You see, the more biometric data that companies like Meta and Apple have on you, the more they can actually manipulate your own psychology and biology, molding your behavior, preferences, and future decisions. And with the rapid evolution of avatars comes the rapid evolution of deepfakes. Currently, synthetic videos or audio recordings created through deepfakes. Oh yeah, deepfakes. I mean, deepfakes have been been out of here. We already know. Can easily be mistaken for genuine recordings of the individuals they portray. Just look at those Joe Rogan TikToks going around, where they promote these garbage products through deepfake Joe Rogan clips. I can't believe. Did y'all see this? I saw this, and I remember. I think Critical made a video on it. People actually fall for this stuff. So maybe I don't know. I know everybody here is smarter than this. I, at least I hope so. To not fall for something like this, especially if you're watching me, like. You're not dumb, bro. How the f are niggas falling for this? A deep fake like this? A TikTok with 2.7k likes? And you're falling for this? 
and they work. They 100% work. I have an IQ with snail. Well, look, that Alpha Grind product that's all over TikTok, if you go to Amazon and you type in libido boost. I would say at first, if you're, it's the older generations. It's the older generations. At first, when you look at it, like, I guess you could see it. But when I hear the voice, I know AI voices. So I'm like, that's fake. It's for men. And this is just the basic version of it. We have no idea what it's going to look like several years down the line in the I Vision Pro world. Real. I'm talking about hyper-realistic avatars with human-like mm. expressions and gestures with the mm. potential to establish trust with you being completely designed to deceive you used to just influence your opinion or buy more products for instance imagine an advertisement where hyper realistic avatars of your friends express glowing admiration for a product or imagine an avatar of your teenage crush telling you how great you would look in a new clothing line even more concerning hyper realistic yeah i would definitely get bricked up if i did that nah that's too dystopian though that's 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 way too dystopian how would that even work like avatars of familiar individuals could be exploited for social engineering. Take this big farmer endorsed drug. Don't eat that. Eat this. Vote for this party, etc. Which brings us. No, back I'm really scared for like political reasons. Because imagine like in the future, then somebody makes a, a deep fake of Kim Jong Un and he's saying like, "I just dropped the nuke on America. I just dropped the nuke on America." And then like everybody just starts sending nukes and I'm like, it's over at that point. People gonna be abusing their crushes in VR for real. Hey, would y'all do that in chat? Be honest. You got a full realistic version of your crush in VR and you can make them say anything and do anything. Are y'all doing it? No, man, some of y'all are capping. No, no, maybe. That sounds creepy, not gonna lie, maybe. <laughs> Some of y'all are definitely doing it. It's all fun and games until it's in your face. You just put on, it's like just put on this Vera headset and it's all yours. Back to the Vision Pro and the I dystopian web that it spins. Last year on X, Apple's head honcho, Tim Cook, tweeted, Welcome to the era of spatial computing with the Apple. simply augments your real world environment. In VR, users are very much controlled by the system, but with AR, users can directly affect their presence in the real world, which allows you to stay in augmented reality for hours at a time, if not days. And there's a reason Apple is doing this, because of course it provides a much better experience. In fact, this is going to change the entire dynamic of computing. I feel like both are equally like annoying. You still got big ass screens on your face all day. And work. But the augmented reality aspect does create a paradox, as it's designed to give you access to the greater real world, where you can call people and see them right there in front of oh, you. Oh wait, I'm really thinking, hold up, that, okay, that right there. Give you access to the greater real Look at world, this. where you- Powered by Bully Entertainment. Would you get like an ad or something? Can you imagine you're driving like you're driving and then you just like get an ad? <laughs> you're dead like in the middle of your screen. <laughs> Oh my god, it's over. You can call people and see them right there in front of you at any time of the day without doing anything. Pop -up ads. You can be on a plane and you can be living in another world also while looking pissed. around you and talking to your friends. It removes you from the real world but seems to give you greater access to the real world. At least you seem to be in the real world but a real world on steroids because you are presented with a detailed depiction of your surroundings, not your real surroundings, enhanced by sophisticated interactive software. Mm. Apple's proposed solution for maintaining in-person social interactions while using the device is eyesight which scans your eyes and facial features during the initial setup of the vision pro and then utilizes this data to construct a 3d model of your face that's displayed on the external don't screen. wave at me bitch so those who look at you will Man, see you're a unreal. representation you're unreal of your person. eyes although it is entirely artificial and you see eyes are often considered the windows to i'm not gonna lie somebody answers a facetime and they have that shit on i'm hanging up immediately please don't call me with that i don't know that creepy ass avatar soul and regardless of how advanced the artificial model may be it will this never replace the authenticity of a real life gaze you will never actually be able to tell someone's intentions you can never fall in love properly if you live in the augmented reality world by wearing a computer in one's face the eyes dull and so too does your life, perhaps by design. I mean, just consider a scenario where you're wearing this headset, engaged in a conversation. Job monkey level four? What is going on here? I just paused it. What is going on here? Ongoing call with inspiration guru. I'm not going to ask. With someone. Racism and then you receive a notification. Currently, you can simply disregard the notification and put your phone away. 
However, complications arise when the physical reality transforms into a virtual reflection, accompanied by intrusive alerts, and the device- Reset your identity, loyalty points would be- Wait, that's kind of like useful. Device happens to be attached to your face. You can never truly be present, and neither can the people you're talking to. Everyone's constantly distracted what in an endless loop of dopamine, lacking any real human connection or, or any real soul to one another, isolating you from the real world, not really connecting you to it, just connecting you to a false version of it, expediating mm. our transition into a metaverse controlled by big tech elites, one that as the world adopts to the Vision Pro will become harder and harder to leave. So that makes the will, will people adapt to it? Like y'all think in te okay, it probably will become. I'm saying it right now. It probably will become more normalized because there's a lot of stuff like ten years ago they thought wasn't going to be normalized. Like even ten years ago with social media, it, it's not even close to as normalized as it is now. Like if you told somebody you were a YouTuber or did this and that ten years ago, they 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 gave you like a, a side eye look like is that work at work a work an actual job the Real question the what will this even do to our brains over the course of approximately seven million years the mm -hmm. size of the human brain has increased threefold with the majority of this okay, expansion taking place within the last two million years the expansion has been facilitated by better nutrition and better medicine but it's also been facilitated by intimate human connections. The Vision Pro will likely destroy these human connections largely by destroying our brains. The Vision Pro is so powerful that it can quite literally rewire the human brain. Spend enough time in augmented and virtual realities and you may emerge a totally different person, a puppet on a virtual string, a shadow of your previous self, a shell of a human craving to put the headset back on, smartphones and other know about all that because i use my vr headset a couple times and I, i've been perfectly fine digital devices have already prompted us to think in a distinctly different manner and experience various emotions very differently from the past technology is altering our memory our consciousness our concentration our reward mechanisms and sleep patterns so what happens when that technology is no on i will say okay with sleep patterns like hey, how many of people here have like a bad sleep habit or you sleep like later than you're supposed to be we are not supposed to be looking at all these screens like dude i'm sitting here all day looking at looked all <laughs> me me like <laughs> everybody's immediately saying me we are not supposed to be looking at all these screens and shit because it definitely does hurt your sleeping habits and stuff like that like that's oh my god bro I, <sighs> that's why i hated waking up early for high school like it would dead ass be 2 a.m and i had to i had to sit there and do like bro i had to do the the pain look at my phone to realize it's two and I gotta wake up in four hours. Four hours. I'm really sitting there wondering how am I, how am I about to do this? How am I about to go through the rest of the day? And I had to. Your face. Like the one time I had to wake up early for for something I had to do, it was legit a struggle. It was the worst thing I ever had to do. Like I'm so used I'm so used to not doing it anymore. Quickly covering the aforementioned eyes into the soul. After all, the extensive utilization of technology, particularly smartphones and social media, has had a profound influence on the human attention span and is leading us to be more socially isolated and mentally. What's up, Asian? Mentally unwell. And by erecting obstacles that separate us from one another, technology is already destroying our ability to empathize. Compared to the Vision Pro, smartphones and other popular digital devices look quaint. Remember, current tech is already shrinking our gray matter, the part of the brain that allows us to control movement, memory, and emotions. The Vision Pro will likely accelerate the shrinking process. Already, half Bro, the population. just about to shrink our brain? Wait, how big is the average brain? Because does anybody here think you have a, a big sized brain? I heard if you have a big brain, it actually means you're stupid. Because Einstein had a big brain and it didn't really mean shit. Or not a big brain, a small brain. He had a small brain and he was the smartest man alive, right? No, I got a tiny brain, damn. <laughs> yeah, I can tell in this chat who has the tiniest brains and who, who has the biggest brains. I can, I can tell population of the US is addicted to their phones, probably way more than this. Everyone's I'm addicted sure. to video games. Everyone's addicted to their phones. Brains? It's become our second brain. We spend all hours of the day on it. And if not our phones, our laptops. Millions are also addicted to video games around the world. Hey, this is some of y'all. <laughs> Hey, how many of y'all is is addicted to a game? My friends, bro. Ever since our, ever since Jixi started becoming big, they never literally like played any game other than r6 not really me me for real god damn i haven't been gaming like this pat these past like or the past year and a half probably because i've been streaming more and I, I do more games on stream and stuff if i do game but i haven't really been gaming like that can 700 hours count uh yeah god damn bro it depends when you got them though because i used to be crazy every day bro i used to be doing eight hour shifts on fortnite Eight hour shifts on Fortnite. I'm not even joking, y'all. I think the longest I spent on Fortnite, I legit woke up in the morning and I didn't get off until midnight. That was the craziest time of my life, bro. Mostly lonely young men, so consumed oh. by gaming because they can't experience the same joys they get from games as in the real world. 
But when you put a computer, one of the most advanced computers in the world, with mind-blowing augmented reality features, and you have a recipe for a huge change in society. As soon as the Vision Pro ships in February- But can you I even game on it? That's the thing. Like, speaking of gaming, can you even game on this shit? Oh my god, guys, it's my birthday. No, a release is on my birthday? Damn it. Oh well. Our entire days will likely be consumed by augmented and virtual priorities, orchestrated by Apple and subsequently other companies like Meta, where all of our Imagine waking hours will be spent game, in an alternate reality constructed by big tech companies, companies that are known to censor, silence, and use slave labor against the population, where the Damn. same psychological tactics that currently keep us glued to our smartphones will be amplified to an unprecedented level. Not just the technology itself, but also the applications, all the small little games, the TikToks, and whatever else comes around the corner will be designed so addictively that it will be impossible to escape. It's a terrifying prospect because the Vision Pro is truly remarkable. Try the Apple Vision Pro amazing and creepy. It will definitely provide- The main creepy thing is just the avatars. I can't get over them. I can't get over them. Extraordinary, utterly absorbing experience, ensuring that you will never be bored again. You could stare at your wall all day yeah. long, but as long as you have the Vision Pro, you could be living in a virtual paradise. Whilst you're there in the gray, feeling depressed, feeling down, isolated from everyone, feeling numb, you can just put on the headset and all of that slowly fades away. And with that, so too does our imagination and creativity. I mean, improbable for me, shit. I'm having a long, stressful day. I'm turning that shit on, bro. I'm immediately, let me think, hmm. I'm having Nico Robin giving me uh, AR realistic head, you know what I'm saying, after a stressful day. So it, it would definitely work for me. After all, it's during these moments of boredom and pain that ignites human imagination and ambition. But if you're mm. constantly engrossed in the captivating virtual world, don't act like y'all wouldn't do it after a stressful day readily available to you, there will be no room left for creativity and individual thought. And to understand That's this future, it really helps AR to go back to 2016, exist. when Keji Chi Masuda unveiled a disturbing short film envisioning a sci-fi-like landscape, where Vision Pro-like devices are the norm. Aptly titled Hyperreality, Matsuda's film delves into a world where the boundaries between digital media and the physical realm have seamlessly merged, showcasing an extraordinary concept. What? Catholicism. Start again. Join a community. Find your path. <laughs> Nigga, this looks like a game loading screen. What the fuck? <laughs> oh augmented God. reality taken to its utmost extent. Where Draw the cross to join. Interactive virtual interfaces permeates the urban surroundings, and individuals' identities are shaped and communicated through digital platforms. Quest. This disturbing creation, according to Matsuda, was intended to display a new vision of the future, where physical and virtual realities have merged, and the city is saturated in media. Which does sound eerily similar to what Tim Cook's been saying. The whole narrative of the movie centers around Juliana Resrepo, a 42-year-old resident of Medellin, Colombia, who finds herself okay. disenchanted with her life in the city. And as she navigates through the bustling streets, her surroundings are inundated with games. Google. Okay, this looks like I wouldn't even be able to live like this. Imagine life just looks like this or look like this. There's ads everywhere. You got three new messages right there. System update available. To oh nah, man. This is the point we're getting to. I'm moving to the wilderness. And an array of other functionality, accompanied crazy. by intrusive advertisements that constantly interrupt her journey. But she wasn't wearing a Vision Pro. However, you would be forgiven for thinking otherwise. Especially seeing? as the Vision Pro is now being released, this stuff's no longer sci-fi fiction, it's becoming reality, and no one seems to say anything about it. And after releasing the film, Matsuda stated, the conversions of our physical and virtual realities is steadily increasing. That doesn't even seem like realistic. I could tell this shit is not reality. You could tell this is not reality. People in the future will be able to tell it's not reality. Creates a profound sense of confusion. And his Gen whole Beta concept of hyperreality is intimately connected to his notion of simulacrum, which he defines as a phenomenon oh, that, that substitutes sure. reality with its depictions. He argued that the modern world I is a I simulacrum, that. where genuine reality has been supplanted by deceptive images to such an extent that distinguishing between what is real and what is not becomes impossible. In his book, Simulations, he 
presents the four stages of humanity's descent into the unreal. First, there is truth, Tell an objective reality that is accurately represented and easily identifiable. Two, okay, reality exists, but its representation is distorted. Three, reality is bastardized, superseded two. by a proliferation of fake representations. And four, reality as an objective concept is dead. There is no relationship whatsoever between accurate faithful representations and manufactured ones. And right now, we are either living in stage two or three. But with the Vision Pro coming out now, yeah, it seems it. So it's like we're about to enter stage four, where reality doesn't really exist, just augmented and virtual forms of it. Nah, man. Yeah, that, was a, that was a good video. And I don't think that's gonna happen. Damn, why do so many people dislike it? Yo, this is crazy. I had like one, did y'all see that? I had like 1.3k dislikes. 1.5k dislikes. Yo, the Apple fanboys is coming in hot into this post. They're they're coming in hot into this post. What the hell? When we cooked, Apple meat writers are gonna be like, actually, actually, it's perfectly fine to be living it like this. You really don't understand the AR. The, 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 the reality doesn't really break into the real reality. It's a separate entire. That's them in the comments, bro. Um, yeah. So, uh, really, uh, I don't know. That's it. Humanity's probably over. And if you're watching this on the tube, join the Discord.